Hello everybody, this is W. Copeland 38 giving you a review of a knife that I picked up the other day at Big Five and I want to give a very special thank you to Edgar. He was really helpful and showed me several different knives I was interested in and he kind of helped me make a really good choice on a knife that I really like. This knife is called an Elite Tactical Knife. It's a relatively heavy knife. It weighs about 21 ounces. And if you see other knives online, you're going to notice that it looks just like a Zero Tolerance 350 or the 300. It's got the same type of heavy, heavy scaling on the blade. It also has the ability to have the clip for right and left handed, tip up and tip down. Let me flip it over and show you. It's got a setting over here and you can put it here. It does not have a spring assist or anything like that. It's got the thumb assist here. But let me show you. It opens relatively easily. When I first got it, it was very, very stiff. So what I did, I put a little bit of silicon down in here, let it sit uh, overnight and adjust it just a little bit and it wound up freeing up the blade rather well. It did, and that's that's pretty good even with no spring assist. Now as far as the specs on it, the blade itself is 3 16 wide. Overall length on the whole knife is eight and three quarter inches and it's two inches wide and it's uh, three quarter inch thick it's got an open construction as you can see and now the blade supposedly has a tungsten coating but I can't really verify it uh, the knife was on sale it was a really good price it normally is uh, about seventy dollars and this one was marked down so it was a really really good deal I, it I can't say enough about the nice construction that it's got and the ability to change the clip around is really handy it's got a non-reflective coating and an extremely sharp blade it's a Tonto style blade it's got the drop on it and a typical curve it's got a lot of serrations for cutting. It's really, really good. The scaling makes makes it to have a really good grip. Now it doesn't have any jimping on the top, but I don't think that's going to cause you to have any issues with maintaining control on it. Now there's two different models of this. One doesn't have this. Now this, you flip it open. This is your cord cutter. And this part here, let me tell you, is extremely sharp. It will get you if you're not really careful. It locks out and locks back in. The knife also has a glass breaker for breaking glass, things like that. It's a pretty close knockoff of the uh, Zero Tolerance. Although it's not going to have the same price tag, it's uh, got a liner lock, locking mechanism. See right there, comes down and it opens up relatively quickly. The one thing that I did like about it, unlike some of them, they wind up putting the Torx screws. On your adjustments this one does not it takes a regular flat screwdriver so you, if you had an emergency and you have to possibly make an adjustment you don't have to go home to find your torque screws to fix it you could actually fix it out in the field the rear screws for the clip though they are uh, the torques so you bet that'd be the only uh, thing that you'd need to worry about let me get you a nice little close-up of the way this thing looks this has such an, a really heavy, heavy, aggressive scaling on the grips. That's what impressed me the most about it. And I like a good, kind of hefty knife. It, 
I don't carry it with me out on the street. It's pretty much for around the house for self-defense or anything like that. But I was just really impressed with the way it looked and and, and carrying it around. It's got it and get a good good grip on it. Let me get you a little good view here. It's a nice confident confident heavy heavy style knife. And for the price you can't beat it. So oh, let me give you a little demo here one more time of opening the blade. It's stuck that time. Let me get there. There. Sometimes you you might have to flip it. It's getting a little bit dry for me playing around with it here and so it, if you put a little silicone up underneath there, it won't it won't be so tight. Yeah, it's getting rather getting rather dry. So I'm not gonna go into that anymore. This is a one of my first knife reviews. I've seen a lot of others, and I really appreciate getting a little what little bits of information from other people. So hope I'm not stealing it too much from them. But it's a really nice knife, and it's real. You can't beat it for the price. This is W. Copeland 38 saying thank you for your time and you have a really good day.